to satisfy first this Dr. Shiva Parva. We as a team are going to decide the important textbooks and high yield facts important for the NEET examination. Uh, we are planning to divide the whole course into two catalogs. One is medical and another is dental. So what we are going to do, we'll be just using the basic subjects or the medical subjects like physiology, biochemistry, pathology, uh, microbiology, pharmacology, anatomy, surgery, medicine and PSM in the basics catalog or we can say medicine catalog. At the same time we'll be uh, using the uh, clinical term for the dental subjects and we'll be uh, uh, making the videos on postodontics, oral surgery, uh, pedodontics, orthodontics, uh, OMR, and no periodontics and all other subjects uh, but the, our main focus will be on basic subject because when it comes to MDS and even for the uh, in, uh, uh, medical the basic subjects becomes like in French and Latin for those people that's why uh, we will be focusing more on the basic subjects and uh, for the clinical subject we will be doing only the important topics So guys, if we talk about the basics, so we are planning to have a system-wise approach for the basic that will enhance our retainability as well as clarity of the concept and will avoid the repetition of the same information again and again. Uh, when I talk about the systemic, uh, systematic or system-wise approach, so that is we have to take uh, first one system, like nervous system we can take the first, then uh, in the nervous system we will be doing the physiology, then pathology, then pharmacology, medicine and surgery. So this way, suppose if I am doing the um, pharmacology, so I require some reference from the physiology, so that will be done. So I don't have to repeat the same things in the pharmacology when I am uh, doing the pharmacology. If I am doing the medicine, then pathology, pharmacology and physiology all will be done and then we don't have to waste time on revising all those things again and again. So that's why we are planning to make a system-wise approach. So we'll be doing the nervous system, then CVS, then GIT, endocrine, blood, and general system. So guys, we are planning to give the two videos in a week. Every Wednesday and Sunday, we are planning to give the videos. One video may be of dental part, another will be most probably on the medical part. So you will be informed if there is any uh, change in the schedule, but uh, we will try to stick to uh, particular regimen only. So our schedule for the uh, April month is. So guys, let me introduce my team. This is the team which hinders the enthusiasm in us and keep us going. We have a team of uh, allied people, uh, medicals from uh, all over the countries, medical and dental colleges. Let me introduce a few from them. Dr. Omong Bhargavad, Lala Lajpatrai Medical College, Dr. Virat, he is an uh, Dr. Dhawal Chauhan, PDC uh, Amdabha, uh, periodontologist, uh, Dr. Divya Gupta, uh, periodontologist, GDC Amdabha. Dr. Pranshi Jain, MD Anesthesia, PGI Rota, Dr. Brigham Jain, MBBS and doing internship in uh, RM in Delhi, and Dr. Shubham Jain, uh, an orthodontist from KGNC. So these people are helping us with their material. So now this is the time to decipher the SES decipher. S stands for Dr. Shiva Marva, that's me, an insignificant one. I will be representing the notes and material given to me in the video formats and preparing lectures for you on notes. Uh, a stands for Dr. Ayashishi, who is compiling and composing the materials and uh, analyzing the recent examination papers and giving us backstage training also. Uh, S stands for Engineer Sunny Manohar, who has been helping us with the technical stuffs and is making our videos presentable.